Hello again. This tutorial is going to be on the Windows Snipping Tool. This is available in all versions of Windows from XP right up to the current version of Windows 10. I'm using it in Windows 10 and it's located in the Accessories folder. So if we scroll down to Windows Accessories and we can find the snipping tool here. Now I suggest that it's best to actually place it on the taskbar so that it's always ready when you need to use it. And to do that we click more, pin to taskbar and it's appeared down here. We're ready to use the snipping tool. Um, I'll open a web page. Now the advantage of using the Windows snipping tool is that you can just snip any little bit of information from a web page that you may want. So if we click on the scissors to open the tool, um, first of all if you click on this little drop down menu and choose rectangle snip this is what I use. Now if we click New, you see the screen changes and we've got crosshairs on the mouse. Now if we just scroll over the part of the screen that we want to snip and we now have a new snip bit for that. So I'm going to save that. I've got a folder called Screenshots and I'm just going to call this Capture 1 and Save and I'll close this out. Now if we go to my Screenshots folder which is in the Pictures folder you can now see that we have got that snip bit in the Screenshots folder. Now you can do the same with text if you want to just grab a little piece of text we'll say this for argument's sake and we'll save that and call it capture 2 but also if you want to you can still capture the whole screen with this we click on it and use this little drop down arrow and we say full screen and we have now clipped the whole screen and I will save that and name it capture 3 right now if we have a look you can see those three screenshots that I've taken from the screenshots folder here is the little piece of text and if we go to the next one here is the complete whole screen I think this is an absolute brilliant tool it's very easy to use and very useful for snipping parts from a web page or any other document on your PC Okay then, well that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.